All right, we're back down at Big Creek Ducks and Bucks. We've been duck hunting the last two days. Today's actually the last day of duck season, but tomorrow starts the opening of the conservation, what do you call it, conservation order, uh, special goose hunt? Yeah, special goose hunt, pretty much. Uh, this is Lakey, him and his daddy own Big Creek Ducks and Bucks. Tell us what we just did and what we're gonna do tomorrow. Uh, well, you see, we put out about a thousand decoys and uh, tomorrow we'll put out some more motion and stuff like that. Well, we really just set up for tomorrow but today we're gonna try to kill some specks out of it we got a little bit of specks over here and that's pretty much it yeah tomorrow today's we, the last day you can shoot a speck yes, today so is the last day we we're, do we're gonna go ahead and try it but it's man we appreciate you yes, having sir, squincher you. outdoors yes, down to hunt with you guys and uh we'll be back again next year squincher outdoors would not be possible without the support of these great companies the resource center for insurance and financial solutions Jim Butler Centralia, where Squincher Outdoors buys all our trucks. Rustic Timbers Furniture, for home and office. Baitworks, for all your tackle needs. Mossy Oak Properties, find your happy place. Vexus Boats, outfitting your dream your way. Lily's Landing, Branson's top resort and marina. Jewel, the jewel in the crown of champion anglers everywhere. Big Creek Ducks and Bucks, for your Arkansas outdoor experience. STS Outdoor Guns and Archery, the difference is the STS man tuned it. Hot Shot Archery, accuracy defined. Magnus Broadheads, quality with a lifetime guarantee. Vortex Optics, closing the distance. Spartan Cameras, so you don't have to be there. HHA Sports, American made, family owned. Dominant Strands, our choice for premium custom bowstrings. Elvish Tack e -tac Light, the best sight light in the world. Trophy Image, animal nutrition you can trust. And of course, our friends at Squincher, hydration that works. Okay guys, right now we're spreading out some snow decoys and some spec decoys. We're gonna hunt this afternoon. Uh, tomorrow morning starts the first day of snow goose season. So right now what we're doing is making like a J hook in here and right here over here is where we're gonna have like we're gonna sit so we're making it a little thicker here kind of we got our chairs are you can see right there that's where we'll be sitting at tonight tomorrow morning to shoot we're gonna make it thicker back in the back so it's just not one big glob of decoys and chairs in that one area so we're gonna help these guys get these all these set up we're gonna try to hunt tonight try to get the last day of duck and goose season and maybe get it done tonight and then tomorrow morning start the snow goose so see, see, so see these gap, this gap between these two right here. Yeah, that's that's what all the gaps need to be. But and then and then I will pull. So all that out there, we need. We just need to move the silos, kind of just exchange them, exchange them, and put those socks in between these because the, it'll make these look bigger and it'll put more motion on them instead of just all these socks in one spot. Okay. Do not shoot this. No, that's federal. It's only federal if you get caught. Okay, those two are going to go down somewhere. Right. How many we get? Oh, there's one here. Yeah, there's so one right there. Yeah. Two! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
Got some wing feathers on that one. Let me see. That's, that's beautiful. Well, this is a young one. You don't want this one. These are young too, right? Yeah. We got two, dude. That's the last two. Easy now. Okay. Literally, we were down to the last two minutes, and they looked behind us, and a whole flock of specks came in. Can't shoot specks tomorrow, so we'll take whatever we can get tonight. We got two more down in the field. They're going to go get them. Yep. What an ending, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. We're down here at Big Creek Ducks and Bucks. Hunting geese, hunting ducks, speckle bellies, snows. We just got done putting out a spread of snow geese. Everybody talks about hunting with their dads growing up. Well, I'm still lucky enough to have mine healthy as a horse here. Putting out snow goose decoys. <laughs> Lightens the load on everybody else. You ready to shoot them? I'm ready to shoot them. I look forward to this every year. Can't wait to wrap up this duck season and get goose something tomorrow. Hey, we'll have about 20 more. <laughs> All right, guys, it's finally here, opening day of light goose conservation order. We're with the guys from Big Creek Ducks and Bucks. We got about a thousand decoys out, about 12 or 13 hunters. We're about ready to get after it. Lake went over there to get his puppy dog, and we're going to get set up here in the blind. And if it's as good as it was yesterday, it's going to be super good now. Keith just spotted two geese. <laughs> so we're ever going to get in our little honey, honey holes and get after it. You ready, Trace? I'm ready to lay down and take a nap. Lay down and take a nap. <laughs> All right. Let the games begin. All right, Keith, good luck trying to film this massacre yeah. and uh, cluster. Yep. <laughs> I've got the record button on hot. You got the record button on hot. All right, let's get after it. It'll be a few minutes. Winter Outdoors closed captioning is proudly brought to you by Jewel Bait Company, the jewel in the crown of champion anglers everywhere.
Got some wing feathers on it. Well, you never know what might take place on a wild goose chase, but on this particular hunt, Tracy ended up with an unexpected visitor. I'm videotaping it. This baby's going to take a nap in my lap. <laughs> He's looking at me. Hey, go fly out there. This guy's a little disoriented. <laughs> hey, this is the best ever. Oh my god. Hey Keith. <laughs> Once again, the guys at Big Creek Ducks and Bucks uh, do not disappoint and we've had a blast today shooting snow geese. I say it all the time guys, if snow goose hunting is on your bucket list, Give these guys a call. They'll take care of you just like family. The food's great. The company's great. Lake, thanks for letting the Squinch Outdoors yes, sir. guys come down and hunt with you guys. And we'll be back next year. And uh, I guess uh, somebody's got to clean some geese. Who's that going to be? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot. What do you got here, Tracy? I got tired of looking at your guys' new Chevrolets. I had to go get myself one. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we got Jim Butler Chevrolet to take care of us.
All right, guys, we just got back with our snow goose hunt. A lot of people um, are weary about eating snow geese, and it's just like anything else. If you clean it properly and take care of the meat, yeah, there's several different ways you can cook them. We, a lot of times we'll just cut them up and put bacon and jalapeno and some cheese on them and put them on the grill, and they're just fine like that. So we're going to show you real quick on how to clean them. Get that fresh feathers apart and just peel the skin back on them because they're fresh. They just killed one. So peel it all the way back to where you get the meat exposed. And then I'm gonna just take the knife, run it right down the bone, just like you'd brush out a chicken breast. There you go, easy as that. You got a boneless, skinless breast, and then you can make fajitas, you can grill it. There's a ton of different ways you can do it. Just Gently go down the breastbone. I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna spin it around here. And uh, we're gonna clean quite a few more and then we're gonna head to the house. Well, on our hunt at Big Creek Ducks and Bucks, we had the privilege of sharing camp with our friends at North to South Outdoors. Check out their website on n2soutdoors.com and see what they have to help you conquer your next adventure. Hey, Grant Sims here at North to South Outdoors. This weekend's opening day in Arkansas for duck season. Me and my buddies are heading down to Big Creek Ducks and Bucks, kind of busting birds opening day. Check the weather, it's gonna be cold. I hate being cold in the blind. We got our new hoodies, put them out on the website last week. Sometimes the pictures don't do it justice. I don't get cold in the blind. Nothing worse than freezing in a duck blind or a deer blind or outside. These hoodies have this nice lining on them not only the hood, but the inside. Here, get a shot of this. Even the pockets have that. There's three different designs. I like this for duck hunting because of the shadows, logo, drawstring, perfect. Got some different colors. Check my website out, n2soutdoors.com. Well, this is going to conclude our three days down here at Big Creek Ducks and Bucks. And man, we've had a blast, needless to say. <laughs> As you can see, we got a good pile of snow geese this morning. Uh, did pretty good on ducks both days. So it's a bummer. Hunting season's over. Well, we won't be back for another whole year. Anybody have anything wisdom to say? Yeah, I mean, this was, uh, I, I'm glad to get to tag along today. I just ran the camera the whole time, but uh, this whole goose and duck and thing is all new to me. These guys have been trying to get me to to join in and so I figured at least come along and film and see what it's all about and yeah I could see myself getting tied up and spending a lot of money if I uh, <laughs> go down this rabbit hole but it was a ton of fun and uh, Brian treats us really good here His guides are fantastic um, you know this is just a relationship we made with them that we hope lasts a lifetime and I'll say it one more time if you've never snow goose hunted and you're a waterfowl guy you got to put this on your bucket list. These guys would be a great group to come down and try it with. And if you come down at the right time, you can hunt with us. <laughs>